Hi everybody, my name is Melissa Wilson and I help people use holistic practices so they can thrive in their recovery. I spent so many years abusing my body as an alcoholic that I don't wanna abuse my body in my recovery too. I did not get sober to be unhealthy. I use holistic practices to heal my body, my mind, my spirit, my everything so that I can keep up with my kids so that I can sleep better, so that my hormone levels are better. So I'm healthy. I didn't get sober to be unhealthy. So I love helping other people use holistic practices to do the same. So today I wanna to talk, I got notes here. <laughs> if you see me looking down, that's what it is, my notes. Um, today I wanna to talk about sugar cravings. Um, sugar cravings are for real in recovery, especially early recovery. Um, there's some reasons for that and there's some ways that we can uh, curb them a little bit or hopefully a lot so we don't gorge ourselves with a whole bunch of sugar and then feel like crap afterwards because I know I do. I do not feel good after I sit down with a pint of Ben and & Jerry's and work it all down. The sugar high goes up and then when I crash I feel gross physically and I feel gross mentally. I just do not feel good. It, I almost feel depressed and th that is not a way to be. Um, so I'm going to talk about that. They are for real. So if you experience them, know that it is a normal part of early recovery, most especially. And there's a reason for that. A couple reasons for that, actually. Um, one theory, well, not a theory, theory, but a reason is food, but sugar specifically, raises the feel-good chemicals in our brain, serotonin and dopamine. But so does alcohol and drugs, right? So when we stop using our drug of choice, for me that was alcohol, for you it was whatever, um, our serotonin and our dopamine crash, right? And naturally, our body uh, always wants to be at homeostasis, it always wants to be at an even kill. And so in order to naturally get our um, brain chemicals back to normal, our body craves sugar, okay? Because sugar releases those chemicals. So that's one reason why we crave sugar, is just to homeostasis in, um, in brain chemicals. Another reason why is because it is estimated up to 95% of alcoholics, specifically alcoholics, are hypoglycemic. Hypoglycemia, for those who don't know, is low blood sugar. And when, again, when our blood sugar is low, our bodies naturally crave sugar to bring the blood sugar level back up. That's just our body's natural response to get that homeostasis. Um, you, I have the source, I'll put it in the um, description. It's hypoglycemia.org. There is an article about it. It was really intriguing to read. So, um, so that's another reason why the chronic drinking has made our body's blood sugar completely out of whack. It's made our hormones completely out of whack. Our brain chemicals are out of whack. That's why you can't just stop drinking or using drugs. You have to heal yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all of it, holistic practices, okay? So what, are, what can we do about it? There's three things I wanna talk about that we, that we can address this. Will it take away the sugar cravings altogether? Highly doubtful. Will it lower the intensity? Yes. Will it lower the frequency? Absolutely. But it will not, it's not a cure-all, okay? But it helps. Anything that helps, sign me up for it. First and foremost, eat at regular intervals. Okay, um, the reason for that is sporadic eating and most specifically skipping meals throws your body chemistry off. We're trying to get our body chemistry back to normal in recovery to heal our bodies. Skipping meals and eating sporadically screws that all up. Do not skip meals, most especially do not skip breakfast. And when you eat, eat it every three to four hours, whether you're hungry or not. Um, even if you're just having a, a, a light snack, maybe a little bit of yogurt or um, a piece of whole wheat toast or an apple or just something, something is better than nothing. It lets your body know that it's constantly going to get fuel and nutrients that it needs to heal. That's the most important thing. And that also helps keep your blood sugar from going up and down in the spikes and crashes, which when it crashes, you feel like crap, you get kind of depressed and you crave sugar. Okay, because your body wants to bring it back up. So if you're eating at regular intervals, it helps to not let that happen. 
Another thing you want to do is you want to up your protein intake, most especially for snacks and breakfast, okay? Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. We hear that. We got to break our fast from the overnight. That's why it's called that. And you want to have a high protein breakfast. Um, I can't speak for vegetarians. I'm sorry. I'm not one. Uh, not the, just, I just don't know anything about uh, like vegetarian protein. Um, I know there's like tofu and beans, um, but you know, hard boiled eggs would be a good choice. Um, nuts like almonds are high in fiber and protein. Um, cheese, chicken, eat it all up um, for breakfast and your snacks. You want to also keep away from like white processed flour and sugar, um, like a bagel, like that's not a good snack choice. You'd want to go for more like the, the cheese and the yogurt and the beans and things like that. Um, they will keep your blood sugar more than even keel and your body chemistry just more even. And finally, you want to use a healthy sweetener. Um, I'm a coffee drinker. I'm a tea drinker. And I do not put sugar in it. I put honey in it. I also use stevia and agave. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, those types of sweeteners are lower on the glycemic index. Again, that comes back to our blood sugar. Um, using sweeteners that are lower on the glycemic index will not put that spike into our blood, blood sugar levels when when it doesn't spike, it doesn't crash. So I, I opt for honey. I, my dad is a bee dude, so um, I've got honey at the hand. So um, I would recommend honey, but a lot of people use uh, stevia and agave as well. So um, I wanna hear about your experiences. I made a post about this on Instagram and Facebook yesterday about sugar cravings and early recovery. And a lot of people are just happy to know that they're not abnormal for having these cravings. So drop me a comment. Do you, did you realize that this was a perfectly normal part of early recovery? Um, what I found surprising in my research was that 95% of alcoholics were hypoglycemic. Like, <laughs> I had no idea. Um, but it does explain a lot. So I am personally just going to um, be more mindful of how to treat that hypoglycemia naturally. Uh, I'm totally going to use these methods of, you know, eating regular intervals, upping my protein intake, and I'm just going to keep on using my honey. Um, if you like this kind of content, I talk about this stuff all the time. Holistic recovery is my jam. Um, there is so much more to recovery than stopping the drug of choice. We have got to heal our bodies. And that's what I talk about. So um, if you want to continue the journey, learn a little bit more about it. I have links in the description for my holistic recovery guide, um, for my blog where I talk about this a lot more, and also my Facebook group, Serenity Seekers, where like-minded people get together to heal, seek serenity. So uh, give me if you're liking this, give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I will be putting out content once a week, so look forward to my videos. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.